Hi guys, Mr. John here. This time I got a few of these fluorescent fixtures for free with TA tube, which don't work. One of them I already repaired and didn't catch on video, this one I decided to do it. I'm gonna put this kind of disclaimer. If you're following alone, you're doing so at your own risk. Because people nowadays, like, there, everywhere you look there is safety officer and that will post a comment like you should warn people about the danger the danger of the capacitive dropper in a video where I just calculate components for it I mean like great it's not a big deal for me to put in this kind of disclaimer you know do not do it everything you do you do at your own risk I don't take any responsibility but seriously people where the heck is the common sense these days if you don't know about something, do, do not do that. Maybe, you know what, maybe some video bloggers, they just film themselves walking on a street. They probably should put a disclaimer too, because it's so dangerous. So dangerous. I mean like, what if, what if you don't warn people, they will jump in front of a car and get hurt. You should warn him, because who knew? They could seriously injure themselves. Give me a break, alright? This fixture is... Oh, great. You can see 36 watt, usual T8 tube, one inch in diameter. Seems totally dead on the first glance, but... I'm running through the ballast purely because convenience. It came here, like this just two wires so I'm using this terminal block here for convenience sake seems totally dead when I plug it in but watch that end right there okay you can see it doesn't strike really but you can see the filament glowing and the scene flickering straight away the problem is like 99% a shorted starting cap, a cap which is between the filaments. Small value, few nanofarads, high voltage capacitor. Usually green drop polyester style. In this case it's shorted. Ballast is right here. You can see that the scene has has been used for quite a while because the UV from the tube has discolored the plastic badly here. Okay, it's out, kinda. Let me pry this off. And inside we see some nice insects. Ugh. Secret board looks fine, more or less. If not take into account this infestation. I mean like, I feel like Shango 066. Take a look at this. Holy! Mm. Nice! I hope those things are dead at least. Last thing I want them to bite me in the ass. Mm. Nice! Very nice! God damn it! Let me desolder the wires here. I'm gonna go replace that capacitor. Which is. Uh, this capacitor right here 8.2 nanofarad 630 what 630 volts it usually should be rated about a kilovolt or so that might be a reason why it died so quickly okay let's look at the board again not a lot of discoloration good you see a fuse which is not blown because if these fuses are blown they are usually in a million pieces transistors are fine because I saw <coughs> the scene lighting up and I saw the scene flicker so the scene is oscillating just fine and I ain't, go I ain't even gonna test it stuff here I will though taking go and replace these capacitors with new ones why because because in this case in this circuit there is no diac to start it 
it uses another scene, it uses a couple of resistors, and whatever transistor turns on first starts the oscillation. But the most important uh, difference from the other circuit, which uses a diac, is that this circuit has a capacitor in series from the winding of this feedback transformer to the transistor. So that's a winding output of which goes through a capacitor to the base of the transistor. And if these capacitors dry out, the transistors are not turned on fully and may heat up and cause themselves go dead. So I'm gonna go and replace these capacitors anyhow. But before I do that, I'm gonna go and show you that this little bastard is shorted. You can see it there. This too bad. Let's use a beeper here. Not really shorted, but... <laughs> this thing makes a liar out of me. That's interesting. Okay, I desoldered that capacitor. We're gonna take a look here with the transistor tester. Okay. 8.2 nanofarads. Huh. Huh. <laughs> Interesting. Maybe the dry capacitors can do that. I doubt that. Maybe the tube is weak. Maybe this ballast is somewhat, you know. Eh, by this time, this ballast al already made a complete liar out of me, so. So what? Whatever. Let's proceed. Ah, what do you say I go and install 10 nanofarad 1 kV ceramic cap there without touching anything else? As you can see, put it there and see what happens. Maybe I will redeem myself from the status of lying sack of shit. Okay, the board is there, as you can see, that capacitor. It is that very board. Let's plug it in. <laughs> and it doesn't even do that now. Ah, god damn it. That sucks. Okay, I changed the electrolytics, as you can see, and look what happened while I ma was mucking around with the board. Ay ay ay, maybe that was the reason, huh? Maybe that was the reason why it didn't glow even. Hmm, too late now, because I changed the electrolytics anyway. I plan I was planning to do that anyway, so it's not a big deal. Okay, same story, again, you can see electrolytics changed. Right there, and the ceramic cap. I'm gonna leave this in because I think it will be better. It's a 1 kV capacitor. Still nothing. Hmm, that's intriguing. Of course, it is intriguing. You. <sighs> you know why? Look at that. Bloody moron! Okay, now the scene is plugged. And as you can see, I actually went and soldered the original capacitors back in. There is nothing on this side. And the only part that I replaced is this capacitor. Here are the new ones, you can see. Black and those are blue, so... Let's see now. Look at that! Seems like Johnny is not a lying sack of shit. In the end of it. Huh. Who knew? Who knew? And you can see that the scene was took quite a while. Took its time, you know. It didn't rush at all. And started slowly. 
that is because these capacitors are very very shitty the SR is like 20 ohms which is inappropriate for a 4.7 microfarad 50 volt capacitor that's exact replacement by the way now I'm gonna put them put the new capacitors back in and you will see that it will start in a breeze I'm gonna use the bulb which I repaired in a previous video to show you that I indeed did not change any other components you can see my solder joints right there two electrolytics and the starting cap right there you can see that the other ones are not changed and everything on the other side looks exactly as crummy as it looked previously I'm finding the cord which charges the phone that's why it's so uh, pesky footage that end is plugged in, that end is plugged in again new capacitors all over ceramic into electrolytics should start right up without any hesitation <gasps> look at that Johnny was right again oh, that bastard this scene is definitely staged, it must be how the hell can you know anyway, successfully repaired thanks for watching, see ya and stop leaving comments that it was staged, alright?